It's not often you'll get the opportunity to see a farmer burn his entire crop to the ground. But in Burdekin, North Queensland, you will in fact see that. Burdekin's one of the last places in Australia that burn their sugar cane. In this video, I will show you the burning of the cane, the harvesting, and as always, the three things, how much, how far, and how long. So, let's go. Heading off on another adventure, leaving Townsville and driving all the way to Home Hill, which is on the Burdekin River. This is one of the only places left in Australia that they actually burn their sugar cane. As you can see on the side of the road, it's mostly sugar cane driving all the way to Home Hill, occasionally held up by a very long train. tractor out to the fire. That's Ben on the tractor and he's offered to help me uh, find it and set up the fire. Very exciting. When I was talking to Ben and he told me that the burn was probably going to be off, apart from being disappointed I was intrigued because he said I'll just do one more test and he wasn't joking, he's very serious about it. Apparently the way the wind blows will dictate which paddocks get burned. In this particular paddock, paddock it was meant to be southwest coming in, and I think it ended up being a southwest, and this is how he tested it. Just grabbed some dirt from the ground, and as he dropped it, you can see the, the dirt is coming this way, almost behind me. I don't know if you can see that. And that dictated which paddocks they would burn. Very good, Ben. It wasn't long and looking at the drone, I could see the fire had already started and was slowly starting to creep toward me. It, this stage is about 250 metres away. Timing wise, I'm not quite sure, but it may have been five or 10 minutes later. Again, according to the drone, the fire was definitely starting to get enraged and head toward me. Now standing by the road, I could definitely start to see nearby smoke and flames and hear some of the fire. The fire is definitely now getting closer and see little bits and pieces of burn sugar cane landing around me. As the fire got closer it was hard to tell just how near or how far it was. Although I could definitely start to feel some warmth coming from the bush. At this stage, the flames were now 
clearly visible and breaking through and showing themselves within meters of where I was standing. And you could start to really feel the intense heat. Now I remembered how one of the guys, the contractors, had put on special They just out of nowhere and very casually, I think it was Ben walked along and said to light the front of his cane. So the cane was then going back on the The heat was absolutely intense. Okay, what they've done here is yesterday or last night when they did the burn, they made a track through there. Just get a, got a tractor and this big drill kind of thing, just sort of burrow down and push the cane either side. Now this morning what they're doing is they're just picking up that cane, which is uh, probably the lesser quality since it's been tumbled down, I'm not sure. They, I think they're going to do two runs and that'll clear the track and then we'll... Uh, Hopefully jump in the uh, harvester and go and really check it out. Drop that off in a uh, yeah. We'll go to a siding now. A siding, yeah. Yeah, put in the ground. Yeah. Back up to and roll them off and roll another set on. There. The cane of the Burdekin is one of the heaviest in Australia because they irrigate all, all year round. And uh, that's happy days for those guys because you get paid tonnage, billable, billable tonnage they call it. I think he said they're getting 70 tonnes per acre. That's in the old school. Sugar cane burning. It's just south of Townsville. This may be banned in the future, so get down there, check it all out. It's a fantastic experience. You can either organise it through Wiki Camps, there's a guy there that organises tours, or call in to the Tourist Information Centre, which I did. Very friendly, very lovely lady there who helped me out, and it is definitely well worth seeing. If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you've got any comments about how good or bad or dangerous it was, please leave it. And until then, this is Paul Will Drive, signing off. <laughs>